Hi and welcome to another free video brought to you by SEO for Dealers, industry leading search engine optimization for automobile dealership websites. Our website is SEO4Dealers.com and today's topic is Google Local. Um, if you aren't familiar with it, uh, let's make sure that you are because it's a great opportunity to get some early search engine results if you're not already listed there. And even if you are listed there, it's good to understand what it is. So what I did is I've done a, a Google search for a broad term, Chevy dealer Chicago. And as you can see, Google has returned on the top here. These are Google local results. It still ranks these based on what it thinks is relevant, but it just doesn't. It doesn't just list every anybody. You have to get yourself listed in here. And the reason it's it's so important is because a lot of these places, for example, okay, Rogers Auto Group, they're number one. Let's see where they are in the actual search. Z Frank is the first one. Z Frank is the second one. Larry Roche is the second one. Sunrise O'Connor, they're not even on the first page, okay? But they're the very first one people see. That's how powerful Google Maps is. Z Frank, obviously, here they are second, and they have a dominating position for their Chevrolet Kia dealership, so kudos to them uh, based on this term. Now, these will change based on what somebody searches, whatever Google thinks is relevant. So, I want to show you how to get your business set up here. Uh, all you really need to do is um, maybe just Google Business. Google Google Business, I'm sorry. And then they have, it's actually google.com backslash services. And then you're going to look for local business center. And it's going to want you to sign into local business center with a Google account. So you're going to need to create an account. But, um, Let's say a new a new client of mine. I'll just log in as them. Somebody I'm doing some SEO for. You'll need to create an account. So the best thing to do is pick your dealership name. So for example, if you're XYZ Chevrolet, pick that as your Gmail account name if you can. You won't ever really need to access it again, but. Uh, you know you should write it down and store it in case you ever do need once you're listed it takes a few weeks to start showing up in those Google local results but uh, once you are it's very powerful so now that you've logged in you can either up to upload a data file which you're gonna skip or you can add a new business you're gonna add a new business you're gonna fill out all this information be as thorough as possible and I'm gonna suggest or highly recommend that you choose as far as the main phone number you list here, you should choose a number that you can track. Um, most internet departments out there should be doing this with all their 800 numbers that they use on the internet and so forth, but use one here so you can track, so you can know who's calling you from Google Local. Have your website address here, an email address for people to contact you, a really good description, um, and go through next, and then just fill it all in. It's going to ask you for your address, and then actually, at the very end of it, they're going to attempt to call this number so make sure it's a number that somebody picks up um, and it's going to give you a verification code it's very easy it's free and this is a little nugget that that we're going to give you guys uh, this is normally one of the first steps we do for people that that don't have that aren't registered in Google local because if you do any if you do any search uh, Miami you know Miami Chevrolet dealer. You have Google Ro Google Local. If you have VW, Google Local. You see what I'm saying? This is very powerful because people will click on these so often. Um, be as descriptive as you can when you list it on Google Local. It'll take a few weeks to start getting some getting uh, mixed in here. But once you are, you'll have a great spot here where it lists your phone number right there, your actual address, you know, or your web address, your street address. And then if you click on this, it takes you right to the to your website. 
So deal Volkswagen, I'll look at, okay, looks like they've got the standard Cobalt website with little to no changes. They've changed almost nothing on it. But good for them for getting in Google Local and being the first result because they're going to get a ton of click-throughs. So I hope this helped. Uh, you, this is going to help you guys market your dealership websites a little bit in-house. We have tons of, and upon tons of more tips that we'd love to share with you. Feel free to check out our website at www.seofordealers.com. Seofordealers.com. Use our contact us form to ask us any questions you like, or uh, read our blog, or watch some of our additional videos. And uh, we hope to hear from you.